Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our chapter is Psalm chapter 4. It's only eight verses, and so it won't take you long to read it on your own. But in this psalm, we find David in a moment of distress. Before we get there, have you ever had anyone spread lies about you or gossip about you behind your back? See, it hurts when we find out that those we trust the most have betrayed our trust or they have tried to hurt us with their words or turn others against us. And David finds himself in the same situation. In verse 2, we read this. It says, How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue your lies? See, due to David's personality and his choices, uh, you will find this to be a very familiar situation that he finds himself in. But for this specific psalm, it seems as if people who are close to David those that he considers friends and family have begun to spread rumors and lies about him. But he then goes on to offer us two great pieces of advice as uh, we consider um, how we are going to respond uh, in those times when people are spreading lies and rumors about us. The first piece of advice can be found in verse 4. He says, Don't sin by letting anger control you, but think about it overnight and remain silent. See, when others are talking about us, it can be so hard to not respond to them with the same kind of treatment. Your anger is not a sin, um, but we're not supposed to let our anger control us. Sometimes, you know, when things happen to us, we hear about things, anger is the only correct response we, sh we can have or should have. In fact, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26 tells us this. It says, be angry and do not sin. Anger is not bad, but sinning is. The second piece of advice is this, and it's found in verse 5. David says to offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. See, responding to others with the fruit of the Spirit does not come natural to us. <laughs> if it were easy, God wouldn't have to ask us to do it. No one has ever asked me uh, to do my best to eat a pile of Oreos. <laughs> it just comes naturally. Responding the way that God asks us, uh, or responding the way that God asks doesn't come natural to us, and we might even think that it's not fair that the other person gets away with their behavior or their choices. It can feel like we are removing the consequences that they should experience when we choose not to respond the way that we want to. But God asks us to have control over ourselves and to live out the fruit of the Spirit in our everyday lives. And in doing so, we must come to a place where we have trust in God. Verse 6 finishes with this. It says, In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. So my challenge for you today is this. Think of the person that came to mind as we went through this chapter and choose to not respond to them in anger, but instead to live out the verses of Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, which says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and to lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video and we will see you tomorrow.